are so cute. Check out your nails, your rings, your outfit, your Thank hair. You. <laughs> you really want so cute. To bring it for you. Oh my god. Have y'all ever met? Have y'all ever met before? And Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. He's like. Jeff's on the show, I'm getting tips. You know what I mean? That was like, I was like, I better get tips. Yeah. Have you ever heard, do you know what a zaddy is? Apparently he's a zaddy. Yes, I do you know you what did. a zaddy I is. I am so old apparently and did and not I, know what that meant. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like a zaday. A zaday. <laughs> yeah. And that's, I mean, that is. Yeah. Definitely. I agree with it. I just yeah. didn't know what it was at first. But. Yeah. So you were on Broad City and it was a comedy duo. So how was that yeah. breaking off? You've been doing that show for since 2009, I think. It's that's been a right. part of your life. With the, and that's a long time to work with someone. Then all of a sudden you're like on your own. It's crazy to look back. I'm 32 and like 10 years is pretty much a third of my life. And <laughs> my partner, Abby Jacobson, uh, and I give it up for Abby. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Abby and I started the web series in 2009, and yeah. it's just been this climb and climb to the show, and f we had five seasons, 50 episodes on That's Comedy so Central, awesome. and we created it together and show ran it and produced it, and um, we're so proud of the show, and it's my favorite show. Um, and it's kind of yeah. cool because it didn't end because of anyone else. It ended that's because y'all right. wanted it to end, which is Thank rare. You, Kelly Clarkson. No, yes. I'm, just, exactly. I'm just saying that's rare. Yeah. Like usually people are like, no more, and you're just right, like, right, we're right. done. Yeah, yeah. You know, and also like women don't usually get to be like enough, you know, yeah. in all the ways. Yeah. So um, we, I do. Yeah, <laughs> it should be in my life. <laughs> I should uh, hang around with you more. But um, this was, I think, the first time Abby and I both were like, you know what? This is a good time to end it. And it keeps that power in the show that we already um, have created. Yeah. So what were you like as a kid? Were you, were you both talkative? Because you're both, even though you might not be a stand-up comedian, you're a very comedic <laughs> actor. Like, so were y'all, and you're very friendly. Were y'all both like this as kids? Where'd you grow up? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Oh, got you. you. Um, Long Island. Everyone cool is from Long Island. <laughs> really? That's cool. Yeah, I Long didn't know Island, New Jersey, the whole area. Yeah. But were you all always as talkative or were you introverts when you were kids? I, I was I was talkative. My brother and I would make uh, my brother Elliot is also a comedian. We would make sketch videos for hours that's and cool. hours and hours. We I've always been a comedy nerd and that's it. That's awesome. <laughs> that's all I am. Were you always as talkative? You knew everyone right off the bat? No, no. I was very I was sort of um, I needed to be a good boy in school. I made good grades, and there was kind of a, I was, uh, you know, properly. Strict household? Huh? You said good little boy. Were you, was it a strict household? <laughs> they were kind of strict. There was some kind of, you know, serious demand that we be mm, well-behaved in one area or another, and then oh. school, certainly. So I was kind of constrained. So I, it was a kind of an outlet. When I found myself, I had to yeah. find my voice uh, by and by, as I'm still doing. But um, I, I remember, well, I, had, I, was, I had a talent for um, drawing and painting, and my dad would take us to um, the special art class me every week and w waiting outside the Carnegie Mellon um, Museum, the Carnegie Museum. Wow. When, when, wow. He, when he hadn't shown up yet, and I would do this thing that I can't believe I did. I was like 11 or 12. I would see people and then pretend to know them, to go, <laughs> oh my gosh, look who it is. And I would. I think there's a word that for that. that. It's so called strange. stalker. It's strange. It's strange. It's strange isn't 14? It? Yeah, 14 or 11 or 12 or something like agency. that. Yeah, to grown-ups, Do you adults. think it was to make you feel yep. more comfortable that you were alone in that moment? Or? I don't know. I wow, think it was someone me. goes to therapy. It, <laughs> okay. okay, I see you. Hashtag Kelly truth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, it was me practice. I, it was the seeds of something something yeah. creative. And, yeah, and, no. that's so interesting. I was just wondering where everybody kind of comes from in their background. But yeah. tell us about your upcoming comedy tour. Uh, my tour in March is um, a stand-up tour, and I'm going to nine cities around the country. Right on. And um, I'm really excited about getting out the word to vote this year. It's 2020. It's a big year. Yeah. Um, and I also just want to say <clears throat> I like I'm just starting to understand what the census is and why it's important, but that's also important this year. So at yeah. my um, stand up shows, we're going to have uh, we're partnering with Headcount to register voters. And then I'm staying an extra night uh, in each city to throw a voter empowerment dance party with my political organization, Generator. That's awesome. So we're going to dance for the right to vote. That's awesome. Yeah. And, um, because here's the thing, it's, you know, vote for who you love, like vote for what you believe in, but vote. That's, that's important, right. you know, and especially I always get upset when I have female friends that don't, because I'm like, do you know how hard other women had to fight right. for us to have the chance to be able to do it. Right. Like, it's um. Yeah. <clears throat> with like Jenner. whoever you vote for, I don't care. Vote for who you want to vote for, but right. it's like vote. It's the least we can do, and yeah. it's so 
it's everything. And growing up in a small town and leaving and going to like other parts of the world, you really realize how lucky we are. So I love that you're doing like a dance Thanks. party, making it a cool vibe. Yeah, the, um, yeah. the whole tour is ca called Horny for the Poles, P-O-L-L-S. 